hello and welcome to postman tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to look more into the environment section of postman and uh, we'll cover a bit more about the environment variables so the scenario that i'm going to take in this tutorial is about uh, if you're having a test environment and a development environment production environment or the uat environment then how are you going to manage different environments without being hard coding the values or the endpoints for these these uh, environments into all the requests so that that is where the environments and environment variable come very handy in postman and i'll show you how you can achieve this this scenario or how you can minimize the overhead of maintaining the environment details in each and every um, a request or test so to define the environments you simply have to go to this environment drop down you can see here that there is a test environment that I have defined and which is basically if you go to manage environments to the cog wheel here click on that and you will see that I have defined the test environment now if we go to the test environment, I'll, you'll see that I have defined two different endpoints for the test environment and UAT test environment. And say, for example, you have the environment for production. Okay. So what we need to do is you can define another test environment. You can simply duplicate this environment. Okay. And we'll rename it as production and then remove the url and then in the variable we can just say url okay or environment url and the value the environment the environment value so for example the production environment is something like uh, production.com okay let's leave it like that so that we can see the differences between different environment we won't be actually running this script but we'll be just showing you how it will look like when we set up the environments okay so saved it now in the test environment let's edit that and I'll remove I'll just keep it as environment URL and here we'll say testing.com uh, data so we have production we have test environment and then let's create another one for the UAT and we'll say this is UAT.com don't bother about the initial value and current value as of now I'll cover that in later tutorial and we'll create one more for the pre prod and here we can say pre prod all right I'll copy this and paste here okay so i have created four different environments and i have updated the environment variable in each of these right so all of them are having the variable environment variable and there is the value the initial value and the current value i have changed accordingly so that we can see the difference between these environment variables so once these are all set now in your test case what you can do is you can simply go to the variable wherever you have the the url and you start with the double curly braces and just say an environment url and close the curly braces now here you will see that it says unresolved variable this variable is not defined in the active collection environment or globals the reason for that is because i haven't chosen any environment from this drop down it's no environment so i'll select one environment and you'll see that it has been resolved and the environment url has been 
change to preprod.com. Similarly, if you want to choose any other environment where you want to hit uh, or run these test cases, it's just select the change the URL or the environment and then it will hit the other server. Similarly, if you see the test environment, it says uh, the URL is testing.com and UAT is UAT.com. So with this approach, you can define the environment URL and hit different servers in your project if you have multiple test environments or pre-prod or production environment that you want to run your test against then this is the approach that you should follow now say for example your urls have ports as well okay so you can define a number of uh, urls here or a number of parameters in the environment that you define in the environment section say here you have the environment url and then it accepts the port so you can define the port variable and separate it with the colon or if you want to define this version as well then you can just replace it with version and define it as variable in the environment now you are seeing these as unresolved because we haven't defined these in any of the environment variable that we have defined so if you see any of these we need to define these port and version here and then if we'll update it and go back and see here now you can see that the port is coming from the environment variable and version is coming from the environment variable so that's pretty much all about the environment and how you can define different URLs based on the different environments in your project. Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.